Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Ron here, Precision Sail Loft. Doing a new sail walk around for a really nice little sail here. This is for a Hunter 23 UK. It is a main sail. And uh, this is pretty uh, basic sail. Uh, a 300 series Dacron with uh, just about, I think, as it's quoted, the only thing we've added onto this is uh, radio corners. Uh, and uh, a little bit of reinforcing up the uh, up the leech so that's about all we've got out of the sail and let's take a quick little walk around before we start I'll uh, I'll show you how your main sail is going to come uh, so it comes in a bag with sail tie and the battens so the battens will come coiled and zap strapped together here and uh, what we want you to do when you get this I would recommend you take it out of your home uh, either take it down to the marina on some grass or in your front yard on some grass uh, and you're going to want to put a foot on it to stop it from kind of springing open. This is under some pressure as you can imagine. So you're going to want to start on the outside ring and you're just going to snap these uh, zap straps with either side cutters or scissors or a sharp knife. Um, but be careful, I have heard a few people, typically with larger patents than this, but a few people trying it in their living rooms and causing damage to some family heirlooms. So uh, let's be careful with opening those up. So here we go, uh, we're going to start down here in the clue. And we'll take a look at this radial reinforced corner in this clue. So as you can see, we've got the radial patches on top of the block patches. And we've got a good sized slider for a 23 foot uh, boat. Really well done. Wrapped in leather to stop some chafing and protect that clue corner. Uh, if you take a look at yours, it's probably starting to fray. That's why you're looking for new sails. Let's just kind of walk up here. So here's our first reef point and you'll notice that the reef point has the same corner as they've got down in the clue so radial reinforced nice webbing to reinforce that corner as well and then across the reef point we've got the reef belt and that's been reinforced at each one of the grommets as well and then as we come up uh, past the first reef point you can take a look, and this is this is called the leech belt. It is a strip of dacron that is there to help reinforce uh, that first section of sail. It's under a lot of stress, and so that'll help protect it. And let's keep uh, walking up the leech here, and we'll stop at uh, we'll stop at this batten pocket. These are tie-in batten pockets, really effective in putting some decent tension on these. And so the reinforcement point is there as well, the batten pocket, and what you're going to do is you're just going to slide the batten in, you'll pull this back up, and wrap it around the, the batten, and then you're going to use the string between the two grommets and go back and forth a few times until you've got, uh, you've got enough room there to put good tension on it, and then you're going to tie that off. So really well uh, designed method to put some tension. And up here in this, uh, the highest batten. This is actually a full batten so it goes all the way through to the other side uh, at the mast and there's a batten receptacle there to hold it so you can put some really good tension on this one as well. So up here at the head and we'll take a look radial reinforcements coming out of the head section here as well and we'll take a good look at this head plate. This is an alloy head plate. It is riveted on there with some good reinforcements and that slider, notice the way the slider is sewn on, it's called a figure eight and what that does is it doesn't allow that slider to move very much so it remains perpendicular uh, to the sail and parallel to your mast so you don't run into any jamming issues in your mast. So here we go, we'll just take a quick little walk down the luff here and we'll stop at one of the sliders so you can take a look at the reinforcement in and around these sliders. So a nice reinforcement patch and then we've got the, the webbing that's, that's figure eight on and then underneath that hopefully you can see it there's a little bit of vinyl to stop any chafing that'll, that'll occur in those spots. And then here we come down and this is the first reef point. Same as the tack. So we'll focus in a little bit here more on the tack corner and you can take a look with the cutting ham and the reinforced radial corners coming out and then here we have the tack 
ring, good size ring for a 23 footer, and the webbing stitched on. This is a rock solid sale. This is going to be a very good sale for this customer uh, for his 123 in a 300 series Dacron.